Hey everybody, today we're going to read an article to help you practice your vocabulary and pronunciation. So, let's get started. All right, all right, what's up everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Greg, I'm your teacher today, I hope. I'm your teacher every day. I'll be your teacher every day. Today we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, we're going to read an article. We're going to read an article about travel. And even if you're not interested in travel, who's not interested in travel though? Even if it's not your favorite topic, this is about improving your vocabulary and your pronunciation. So it's a great way to practice. Practice what? Practice your vocabulary and your pronunciation. It's a short article and I've highlighted some words that might not be clear. And I'm also going to read to you clearly so that you understand the proper, correct pronunciation of some of these words. So this is a good way to improve your English. At the end, I will remind you that the best way to improve your speaking is to read more and listen more. Reading is really important. So today I've decided that I'm going to read an article with you to help you improve your understanding of vocabulary and pronunciation. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like it, like it or not yeah please like it i work hard for you and subscribe to the channel because i make many new videos each week just for you so that you can improve your english vocabulary communication skills so let's get started with this article you'll see that i have highlighted words in yellow these are words that I think I need to explain and clarify for you. So when you see the words in yellow, I'll stop and I'll explain what it means. So let's get started. This article is about travel and it starts out by saying now. Now is the ideal time to revisit your travel bucket list. Now is the ideal time. The ideal time means the best time. The best time. The ideal time means the best time to revisit your travel bucket list. Revisit means you were thinking about it before. You were thinking about it in the past and maybe you got busy, you forgot about it. So let's go back and think about it again. Let's make some plans this time. So we had an idea in the past and we didn't do anything with it. We didn't take action. So we're going back to revisit it now this time we'll take action okay revisit your travel bucket list what is a bucket list a bucket list is a, a list of things that you want to do in your life before you die so many people keep a bucket list and it might be a short list it might be a long list but things that you want to see and do and accomplish before you die is called your bucket list okay so this is a great time to look at your bucket list again let's decide what to do the next paragraph says before you choose your destination before you choose your destination based solely on a list solely solely means only solely on a list though reflect on the types of experiences that really gratify you. Culinary, history, culture, adventure, okay? The first word is reflect. Reflect just means to think about. So if you reflect on something, it means you give it thought, you think about it. Let me reflect on what's important to me and what I want to do, reflect. The next word is gratify. Gratify means make you happy. 
Gratify is like satisfy. It means something that makes you happy. Gratify, gratifying experience. The third word in this paragraph that's highlighted is culinary. Culinary. So experiences that gratify you, that make you happy. Culinary, history, culture, adventure. So I think you know history, you know culture, you know adventure. Culinary means it's related to food. It's like maybe taking cooking classes or experiencing uh, different types of local food, uh, cultural food, ethnic food, restaurants in different countries have different types of food. Different cultures have different food. So that's culinary. Third paragraph says, then craft your ideal vacation from there. Craft means create or design, craft. So the author is using some fancy words here. Not fancy, they're common words, but they might be a little higher level. So you might not understand. That's why we are reviewing this. Then craft your ideal vacation from there. From there means from the beginning, okay? All right, let's look at the next page. Seek out a well-established leader in experiential travel to give you a taste of what it's like to be a local and then some. Okay, let's look at this. Seek out means look for, seek out, look for a well-established leader in experiential travel. Experiential travel is the type of travel that offers not just moving from place to place, but having special experiences in each place. So not just going to a hotel and going to the pool or going to the beach, but maybe getting involved in the local culture or learning about the history, having an experience. It's experiential travel to give you the taste, give you a taste of what it's like to be a local and then some. What's that phrase? And then some. And then some means and more, and more stuff. But sometimes we say, and then some, okay? It just means, and much, much more. Next paragraph, whether it's cooking classes in a Tuscan villa or bathing with elephants at a Thailand sanctuary. Sanctuary, well, elephants in a Thailand sanctuary. A sanctuary is a place where the animals are safe. They're safe and they can walk around free, but they won't be harmed. Nobody's going to hunt for them. Sanctuary is a safe place for the animals. All right. Next paragraph says, at Blue Roads Touring Company, we immerse our guests in a region's culture and customs. Immerse means completely in, into something, involved, immersed. It means you're doing it all day, every day, all day. You're making a full experience out of this tour, this holiday, okay? So not just visiting a country, staying in a hotel, but really getting involved with local people, local food, local customs, history, stuff like that. Okay. Immerse, full immersion. Next paragraph, we take them to places that are difficult or next to impossible to plan and explore on their own. I highlighted next to impossible. So if something is difficult, we know what difficult means. If it's next to impossible, it means very, very, very difficult. Not impossible, but almost impossible. So very, very challenging or very, very difficult. Next to impossible. Okay. Next paragraph. Fun enriching visits into local homes to share authentically prepared meals. Fun enriching. Enriching means uh, makes your life better. If something is enriching, it means you don't just have fun, but it kind of, it's an experience that stays with you and it changes you as a person 
and it makes you a better person. It's enriching. Visits into local homes to share authentically prepared meals. Authentic or authentically means real. It means genuine or true or real. It's real. It's not fake. It's authentic. Okay. True. It means true. Next paragraph, outings to farms, orchards, vineyards, even treks to the front lines of Europe's most famous battlefields. So outings, outings just means um, an outing, an outing. Outing means you're going out to explore different places. It's like, um, it's like a little mini adventure is an outing. So they go to farms. Orchards is where they grow fruit. Yeah, orchard, like apple orchards. Vineyards is where they grow grapes. Vineyards, vineyards is where they make vineyards. They grow grapes and they make wine. They make wine at vineyards. Even treks to the front lines. Treks means maybe kind of like a long journey or maybe a hiking journey, a trek. It takes a, it's a challenge to get there, trek. To the front lines of Europe's most famous battlefield. Next page. If great literature moves you, you'll get an intimate look at William Shakespeare, regarded to be the world's greatest English language author, dramatist, and poet. If great literature moves you, what does that mean? Moves you. It means moves you it means uh, makes you feel emotional if something is moving it's not just interesting it's like oh, I could feel that in my heart it's so moving it's very emotional moving all right you'll get an intimate look intimate means very close very close look at William Shakespeare so not just reading something about Shakespeare, but you really get to see like details, very close details of William Shakespeare. Regarded to be the world's greatest English language author, dramatist, dramatist. Dramatist is somebody who writes dramas. Somebody who writes dramas. So an author is a writer. A dramatist writes dramas. A poet writes poems or poetry. Next paragraph, as part of Blue Road's Heart of England tour, you'll venture to Stratford-upon-Avon to delve into the Bard's life, including his timbered childhood home and wife Anne Hathaway's thatched cottage. Okay, so at the beginning it says, of, as part of Blue Road's Heart of England tour, so this is a tour. This article is describing like a holiday, like a vacation tour, but it's a very interesting tour. It's an experience tour. You'll venture. So venture means to explore. Venture is when you take a little journey and you're exploring. It's very interesting. We call it venture to Stratford upon Avon. That's a, a city or a town to delve into, delve into something is to really learn small details. Not just the big details, but really small details. That's when you delve into something. The Bard's life. The Bard is Shakespeare. That's his nickname, the Bard. That's William Shakespeare. Including his timbered childhood home. Timbered, so trees are called timber. So if a, the home is timbered it means the home is made of wood so maybe like a cabin like a log cabin or something but it just means a timbered child at home means that his house was made of the trees that were cut down nearby and his wife Anne Hathaway's thatched cottage cottage is a small house thatched means like made of made of what made of straw made of straw, made of um, like materials that you would find out in nature, thatched cottage. All right. 
A personally fulfilling itinerary elevates your precious time off. Personally fulfilling itinerary. Itinerary is your schedule. Your daily schedule is called itinerary. Itinerary. Elevates. So an elevator is something that goes up, down. So if something is elevated, it means it brings it to a higher level. Elevates your precious time off. So precious means very important. Very, very important means precious. So your schedule will make best use of your important, valuable time off. So when you have time off, you'll be using it wisely. You won't be wasting your time. So a personally fulfilling itinerary elevates your precious time off just means that you will not be wasting time. You will be doing things that are fun and interesting and uh, gratifying. Key to that is your individual space and discovery time. So you have time to do stuff, but you also have individual space, means personal time. You'll have time to be alone to do the things that you want to do that's not part of the group tour. Next paragraph, seek out the destination expert. Seek out means find, seek out. Find the destination expert who strikes a balance between organized activities and downtime. Between organized activities and downtime. So strikes a balance means, okay, so you have activities and you have downtime. Downtime is your own time. Time when you're not taking the tour and looking at things that are on the schedule. So organized activities are planned time. Downtime is your own time when there's nothing planned. And it says strikes a balance. So we have a good balance. You have enough of each. You have enough structure, but you also have enough personal time. All right. Blue Roads, third paragraph. Blue Roads favors quality over quantity. It means we want more good stuff. Doesn't have to be a lot of stuff, but the, but the stuff that we give you is good. Good quality is more than size or amount. Favors quality over quantity, thoughtfully curating a select number of unforgettable, unforgettable experiences. Curating, thoughtfully curating means uh, putting things together. Well, curator takes some of this, some of this, some of this, and puts it together. And they're saying that they will put together a package designed just for you, okay, to give you an unforgettable experience. So thoughtfully curating, designing, designing a select number, just a few unforgettable experiences while also ensuring you of time to relax, to recharge, and unwind. Unwind is the third is the is the last word highlighted. Unwind means relax. If I need to unwind, I just need to relax. Relax, unwind. Their careful combination of specialized excursions. Excursions just means different trips. Or different packages, different um, different packages of of types of uh, things that you can do on your vacation. Their careful combination of specialized excursions, sightseeing, and personal time encourages you to dig deeper into the many layers of a destination. This means it allows you to give a lot of thought into how and where you're going to spend your vacation at your destination. All right. It gives you the ability to really consider all of the details of what you're going to do. Some people go on vacation like me and say, I'm just going to go to the hotel. I'm going to sit at the pool maybe go shopping and go check out a restaurant, stuff like that. 
not a lot of plans, but some people might find it more fulfilling to make a lot of definite plans for their vacation. Next paragraph says, you'll relish your trip for years after. Relish means when you relish something, it means you really, really appreciate it. You really, it's like, oh, that was so awesome. That was so awesome. Remember last year, that vacation? Ah, oh, so amazing. Ah, oh, I wish I could do that again. That was so great. That So you really enjoyed it. You really appreciate it. You relish, relish it. You relish your trip for years after. That means into the future. You'll still be thinking about your trip. Perhaps when you try out that recipe, recipe for delicious Eastern European dish. So try out that recipe. A recipe, look at the spelling. Recipe is when you are cooking a meal or cooking a special dish. And you say, I need some of this, I need some of this, some of this, some of this, all the ingredients. And how do you prepare a meal? Or how do you prepare a dish? That's called a recipe, okay? When you try out that recipe for a delicious Eastern European dish or use that tongue-twisting phrase learned at the Welsh Language Heritage Center. So this article says that there's so many different options that you have that you can design just for yourself or they will help you design so that you have the perfect vacation that you'll never forget and always, always remember long into the future. Okay. So, okay. So this is just a short little article and I want to just review or discuss the importance of reading. I can tell you when you're learning English, you're improving your English. It's so important that you read, 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 read. Even if it's just a little bit each day, read something that's interesting to you. Don't have to read all day, just maybe for 15 or 20 minutes or as much time as you can, all right? So when you read, try to read one page per day, one page per day and if you find words or phrases that are not familiar, that you don't understand, look them up in a dictionary or online. Okay, when you become a better reader, you become a better speaker. So, and also listening practice, listening. That's why I'm reading this article to you. If you listen more, if you become more familiar with words and how they're pronounced, then your own pronunciation will improve also. So again, reading and listening is very important for English pronunciation improvement. Just overall improvement in your English skills and communication ability. So that's all, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this today's lesson. It's a little different. I didn't really give you a specific type of lesson, but more just like, um, like a reading review and explaining some random words and what they mean. And also, I hope that you listen to my pronunciation as I'm reading so that you understand how to speak more clearly. So that's all. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're here lots and lots of new videos every week just for you. Until next time, I am Greg. I'm glad that you're here stopping by to spend time with me. Until next time, I will see you later. Have a great week and have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.